please give me Kevin. Walking out now, we have Kevin Morales, 26 years old, fighting at 125 pounds, 62. In his corner, he has another uh, well-versed MMA fighter, Josh Mercado. fighting out of Fireball MMA in Miami, Florida. Yeah, both these guys coming in tonight, Kevin Morales and Zachary Wright are both undefeated. So someone's out, gotta go, and we're gonna find out. I believe this is a title MMA fight. So this is the main event tonight, guys, here at WCCS. Kevin Morales versus Zachary Wright for the 155 pound lightweight title MMA fight. Yeah, Kevin Morales coming out with the next swag tonight. He looks loose, he looks happy, he looks comfortable. And we know they say, you know, fighters that are happy, that are comfortable, they always have good stamina and they have fun in there. The ones, they don't really see those guys get tired much, you know? So let's we'll see what Kevin Morales got. He's on the feet and he's looking sharp. Please send me Zachary. <laughs> All right, making his way to the cage now, we have Zachary Wright, 22 years old, six feet tall, 155 pounds, training out of combat club. You see in his corner, Junior Buscape, legend in MMA, and Travis Taylor, one of the top kickboxing coaches now in South Florida. Man, like, this guy's undefeated, 2-0, his opponent's 2-0, someone's oh, gotta go, about to find out who's gonna be the champion tonight. Um, one thing to be noted is Zachary Wright, he played you know, basketball, so this guy probably is going to be light on his feet, he's going to move good, he's going to have good timing, you know, good touch of the hands, I'm sure, but, you know, we're about to find out. Um, these fights tonight have really been amazing. There's been a lot of back and forth fights. All these, a lot of these fights have went to decision. The judges have had a tough night making these calls. I mean, all the fights are so close, back and forth. It's really tough to see. But we're about to find out who wants it more. Who's going to be the main event champion? Who's going to be the champion of the world tonight? All that means is that we need a finish. Exactly. Finish. We are banking on a finish. We've been waiting for a good finish in the main event tonight. We got one, but it had like 10 seconds left in the fight. So. If we get a first down finish, oh, we also have the girls. The girl, oh, the girls went to the position, so no, I mean, we're, we had one triangle choke, and that yeah, was about that it. That was it, the triangle yeah. choke by Brian Kyle Hamill. That was a piece. That was a piece. Of it. Zachary Wright entering the cage. For the final bout of the night. by Global Fighting Solutions and brought to you by World Class Combat Sports in conjunction with XFN. Our judges for this bout are Elion Rodriguez, James Lazaro, and Tracy Moorhead. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is 26 years old and stands six feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds even. 
with a record of two wins and zero losses. Fighting out of Fireball MMA, Kevin Vanilla Gorilla! And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, is 22 years old and stands six feet tall. Weighing in at 155 pounds even. Also sporting a record of two wins and zero losses. Fighting out of Combat Club, ladies and gentlemen, Zach Ali! Our official for the bout is Ray Ramos. Here we go, the main event. I'm Charles Boston Strong Rosa here with UFC superstar Jillian Robinson. We're here in the main event here at the center in Coral Gables, Florida for WCCS for the headline of the MMA title fight tonight at the lightweight title at 155 pounds. We have Zachary Wright versus Kevin Morales. Did you see that stare down? <laughs> oh, that was intense, uh, I like it. Ooh, oh, out of a head kick. Heavy head kick straight to a double leg. Looking to do damage quick. Creating distance. Oh, going for a guillotine. Damn, these oh, guys are actually, getting that's after a dart. Oh, no, an anaconda. Oh, my God. It's tight. That's locked in tight. That is If he tight. can step around the leg and secure this, this set right there, that's what he wanted to do, this fight might be over. This is might be over if he can keep that grip in. Good job right there. That's the heart right there of Zachary Wright. Transitioning to a guillotine. Kevin Morales did this say is that his- John Jones, the other, there we go. John Jones guillotine. Oh, right back to the uh, double leg. Kevin Morales did say his favorite choke was the dart. So to see him go for a front headlock uh, stuff early isn't a surprise. Beautiful double leg takedown into the guillotine choke. That's tight. Oh, that's Zachary Wright tight. has a tight guillotine choke on Kevin Morales. He's able to pop his head out. Did he? Maintain, yep, he's out. Maintain top position and just start to work. Damn, back and forth action early in the first round. That was just when I thought like we couldn't get any more first minute intense rounds, like we get another one. And it looks like we're in for another five round battle tonight because these guys are not quitting. Kevin Morales just constantly peppering little strikes, constantly looking to work and just do damage. Yeah, he's in the guard right now. Ooh, good shot right there by Morales. It's nice how he trapped his hand first before he Gotta watch he out for that, an that anaconda choke. He wrapped that up and he's wrapping it up again, good. He snaps him down, he needs to secure that leg, which he has, and it looks like this fight might be over. Oh, this is a close. tight, tight choke. He's gonna go to sleep if he doesn't tap right here. You can see Zachary. Morales got him right here. Good job securing that, he needs to lock a triangle. This is a wrap right here, he might be out. I think Zachary Wright just might have a little bit space by the way he's keeping his elbow up like that. Kevin needs to collapse that elbow to really close the space a little bit more. Yeah, that's a great point. Get that bicep across his throat. It's a good eye, Jillian. Yeah, I think he's just got, got that little bit of space that's keeping him alive. Wow, this boy got gills. Zachary Wright showing some gills. That looked like he brought a snorkel into the cage. I don't know how he survived that choke right there. That was totally locked in, anaconda choke, and he survived it. Zachary gets up, throws some strikes, and says, now what? So what's up? Is that all you got? And another one. And back These chokes the get hotter ball. and hotter. The lactic acid builds up in your arms. It gets more difficult. I think he has a very good technique here, but Kyle needs to be wise to it. I know he got out of the first two, but as the fight goes on and your energy levels drain and your neck strength just improves, that choke could get locked in tight and he could end up sleeping, but he's doing a good job of fighting it off. Another beautiful double leg by Kevin there. Wow. <laughs> Three this round, he was just able to secure his hands in the back and get a nice lift. Beautiful first round of this WCCS MMA 155 pound lightweight title fight. Strong first round for the vanilla gorilla, Kevin Morales. He went out there, was able to execute the game plan effectively, get multiple takedowns, dominate top position. This looks good all around. Front, front headlock here, going for a, a guillotine, switching to the anaconda. Here we 
to get another beautiful double leg. Oh, right into the guillotine that time. This is a vicious first round. These guys getting after it, looking to get this W. Kevin Morales is doing a great job of just constantly attacking here. Constantly has Zachary right but worrying and making Zach not want to be on the ground with him, making it him just feel like he has to get to the He never wants to like, have to do something to fight. Yeah, great back and forth asking to see Junior Peace Cafe in the corner of Zachary Wright and he's legend of the sport and he's probably giving him some advice. He's like, hey, you ate his best submission, you took his best shots, now you gotta go out there and win it. We talk about motivation for fight. Kevin Morales said he wanted to dedicate this fight to his grandma who passed away a year ago. And he's just trying to make her proud. So that's just another reason to bring that fight, to bring that out there, you know? You really look for, uh, really trying to make her proud. Yeah, anything helps. Any extra ounce of strength you can find and gain, those are the type of things that makes most fighters. When you hear any fighter's story, usually they have something interesting or something to say and something that they're fighting for. And I'm sure he's there to dedicate and fight for, for his grandmother tonight and uh, you know make her proud. I'm sure she's gonna be proud either way because he's putting on a great show for everybody. A little bit of a turn of the tide oh, here good now. Good back and forth scrap right there. Zachary Wright looking for the takedown this round. Looking for the guillotine again. Kevin Morales has to be careful to just end up in the guard again with this guillotine so tight. See if he's able to pop his head out again, but that's tight. Damn, back in that guillotine choke. Looking sharp. It doesn't seem like he has uh, Kevin's neck completely and then he's able to get it out. Back on top. Just able to do damage again. Dude, the paces, I would say, out of all the fight cards I've commentated in my life or even watched or watched on TV, UFC, this is the highest pace fights I've ever seen in my life. Like, I can honestly say that, like, I mean, how many fights? We had 18 fights tonight, and almost every single one of them was action packed, stop, non stop. No, I'm exhausted just watching right now, honestly. <laughs> it's gonna be a long night. Kevin's still just peppering strikes on the top, constantly giving the judges something to look at, just doing a little bit of damage, scoring points. Yeah, I mean, these are the shots that make the judges easy. When someone's on top, punching, it's pretty obvious. Unlike all the other fights tonight where we can never decide who the winner is, we're all split decisions. This fight right here, it's coming down, it, it's, it's easy to score. When someone's on top, punching, the guys in the bottom, it's, it's easy, it makes it easy for the judges, which haven't had an easy night tonight. It's been very difficult for them to figure out and it's, it's, it's just because the fights are so evenly matched and the level of MMA is so high in South Florida. And if you're Zachary right here, you just need to be either looking to use the cage to get to be able to get on your side, get your knee to the fence, and just get up. But really, or start working here. It's like you need to start doing something. You can't just let Kevin keep on scoring points while sitting on top right now. Still, also easier said than done, obviously. Yeah, no doubt. This is uh, ooh, you can hear this crowd is going absolutely wild right now. And you know, it, the thing he's doing is, is, is you've been in there with the best. I mean, you have multiple fights, six years in the UFC right now. You fought. You know, been fighting since you were 16 years old. You know what it takes to go in there and put this on. I mean, these guys are, these guys are doing it. So any, anything that you see or do is just going to be a good comment. Whatever you're saying, you love it. This must be such a frustrating fight for Zach right now. Every time he gets back to his feet, Kevin just double like again and again and again. And it's so frustrating. Getting back to the same position where you're just getting punched. Now we go into our final round of the fight and our final round of the night. Final round of the fight, final round of the night. I like that. <laughs> it's been a long night. We've had 18 fights where we've called consecutively and this is the final round of the final fight. Let's see if we can get that big finish in the final round. 
If not, we're going to have to go to the judges for like the 15th time of 18 fights tonight to see who the champion is of uh, WCCS. Like I said, I'm Charles Boston Strong Rosa, Galen Gifford fighter Jillian Robinson. We're in the final round of the final fight in the main event for WCCS for the 155 pound lightweight title fight. You can hear the crowd is going absolutely crazy right now. You can't even hear it through the mic, but we're gonna find out which one of these boys wants it more. Who's gonna be the champion, Zachary Wright or Kevin Marias? Kevin coming out with a strong head kick. Oof, good hard two on two for that double leg. That's that Junior Busca pace, but oof, good guillotine. You got the John Jones guillotine. He's going to sleep. He's this might be it. His feet with that. There's no way he's going to survive this choke. Oh, he's he taps out. out. It's over. champion all right guys I'm here with the new 155 pound lightweight WCCS champion Kevin the vanilla gorilla Morales how you feeling right now you came you showed up you showed out how's it feel how that shiny gold new belt Woo! It feels good, baby. let's go you earned that fight that was an absolute battle back and forth war but you Hayden. came out on top Beautiful guillotine choke. Where'd you learn that, man? That was a special choke. That looked like the John Jones one. Type, type, type. I've been studying John Jones. That's my greatest. That's my uh, my idol. But uh, no, nah, this that just came from hard work and um, and just working my ass off at the gym every day. We saw the opening and I had to take it. I messed up on a little bit in the first one. I wanted the darts choke, but I didn't want to commit too much to it. And I knew that would present itself itself uh, present itself later on in the round, so I was very timid, and I feel like that's where my experience came in. Well, you won the victory tonight, guys. <laughs> Let's hear it up for the champion, 155 pound lightweight. One more, he got one more thing to say. The champ can say what he wants, so let's hear what he got to say. Uh, I just want to give a big shout out to my mom, my godmother's out here, Gabby. That's the first time seeing me fight. It's awesome. I want to give out to my, sh uh, my sponsor right here. Um, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Hey, Jen. Matt from Haiti, I'm so sorry, bro. I mean, my mind's all over the place, but I really appreciate it. I really appreciate everybody that came out and supported me from the bottom of my heart. I love you guys. Thank you to my family, my friends, everybody that pushes me. To Daniel K for putting on a, a beautiful show for the fans, young fighters, everybody. I know everybody and their grandmas comes out to these shows, and we all have a good time. And it's all thanks to him, and he's from another state right now, killing it, coming back to Florida. So I really appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. 